Hey guys! Archie! Archie Luxury. Archie Luxury on the Archie Luxury. This is the corporate live streaming channel, guys. How are you? Great to see you all today. Uh, guys, this here ain't a free show, so start your super chats whenever you are ready. Whenever you're ready there. Guys, I've got to tell you, man, this is the show to be on. This is the show, man. And I really do appreciate the fact that there are so many cool guys who want to be involved in the Archie Luxury program. Yes, that's correct. There's so many people who want to be involved in the Archie Luxury program and channel. Uh, guys, I want to talk about the new Omega. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I cannot believe it blue shirt buddha two bucks uh it's wednesday night live with the pontiff thank you thank you thank you now guys i'm just inviting all the good guys in uh i'm gonna just i'm just sending it now i'm i'm uh i'm sending it to the loyal followers uh here we go just sent it now it's going come on Smartphone, come on. Okay, done. It has gone to. We got the Clivers. We've got. Uh, we've got them all on the channel. So I, I really do want to get these guys on here talking about this, this new release. Which uh, I got to be totally honest with you. I am absolutely shocked. Absolutely shocked. I, you know, I thought. Swatch Group wouldn't have the balls to do this. They released it in Platinum. This is the new 321 Omega. They released it in Platinum. I thought, ah, oh, they're not going to do the steal. Ah, oh, they'll wait, they'll wait. Nope. Straight as a die. New Year, boom, it's out. And it's, it's, I, I'm, I'm just, I just can't believe, I, I it just knocked me for six. It has absolutely, Absolutely knocked me for six. Uh, so I'm I am over the moon with this watch. Man on the moon, but this is a pre-moon, so we haven't gone to the moon landing yet. I want to try and get my good friends on. I got a few friends I'd like to get on here to discuss this matter. Uh, what do I think? I got to tell you, man. I've just made a video. I've launched it on the Archie Luxury channel. It's also being rebroadcast on the Paul Pluto channel. Fourteen fucking thousand US dollars. Fuck me dead. Fuck me dead. Fuck me dead. Just to put that in perspective, I recently spent thirteen thousand five hundred dollars. Thirteen thousand five hundred, and I got a panic five one nine six. Five one nine six. That's what I got. I got one of those. Um, now I, I've I've actually. I want to tell you guys. I want to tell you. I fourteen thousand. To put that in perspective on the used market, my good friend Dave, the super collector, he bought a. He got a. Vacheron Constantine, it was the Series 2, the previous generation, overseas chronograph, he paid 14,000 Aussie dollars, okay, Neo, hello humanity, Neo, five bucks, hello humanity, Archie, I need a kiss, send me a luscious moist kiss, Hello, we got the dog trainer. Hey, how are you? My pontiff calls and I answer the call, drinking him. Hey, man, I am absolutely, I am absolutely, just cannot believe what Omega has done. This is a game changer. This has changed it. You know the best thing about this thing, Marky? The updating of the 321 as foretold by the rancher. No, the best thing is we can stop talking about Rolex, Rolex, Rolex. I was getting fucking sick of Rolex, Rolex. You know, 
now to be Omega. Omega. Omega is such a cool brand. Look, I love Rolex's success, and I agree. It had to come because the Pam. You can't have Pams being popular. But fuck everyone, Rolex. I'm just sick of Rolex, man. Tell me this: fourteen thousand US dollars. What do you think of the price point? I think I'll wait and buy it for about six thousand nine hundred and fifty dollars on eBay next year. I, I don't know whether. Look, who knows what's going to happen? Uh, tell me this: Do you think they picked the right model to put the three two one in steel? Let me ask you. Riddle me this, Riddler. What is Omega's track record on resale? Look, hmm. look. Hmm. Let's just just back the truck up. They had some. I I've, I've never lost money on an Omega. Really? Because I buy pre-owned fuckers. Exactly. So that's what I think of fourteen thousand dollars for a three two one in steel. I figured you should wait and buy it for about eight or nine thousand dollars next year on. On the flea, on gum tree. I don't know. Are they going to mass produce it? Mm. Is it going to be that readily? I think uh, Amiga is very clever. You know what they did? I tell uh, you what they did. Let me tell uh, you behind the scenes. They no. they they got Hudinki. They said to Hudinki, "What do we do, man? Sales are fucked. Rolex is kicking our asshole. What do we do?" Hudinki's come in and said, "Right, first Amiga in space. We get this case. We get this bracelet." We get a split display back. Let's do this, 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 this. Mm. They said, okay, we'll do it. Guess what? They will release more three, two, ones mm. as time goes on. Uh, I got to tell you, I think they've, they, it's a game changer because I don't think I would buy one. I just made a video, by the way, Marky, on the Archie Luxury channel. I've just made a breaking news video about this Amiga. And what I said was, for 14,000 US dollars, do you know how many you could set up an Amiga Speedmaster collection? I would buy the big box that would cost me about $4,000. Yeah. 4000 from from Joma Shop. I would then get the first Amiga in space, which would be about another $4,000 on the... About 4000 I think. Give or take. Mm -hmm. Then, you know what else I would buy? I would buy an Amiga Speedmaster Mark II. You know, the Mark II, because that's got a column wheel coaxial movement. And then, you know what I'd do for good measure, just to show that I'm an Amiga fanboy, I would buy a reduced. Four Amiga, four Amigas. What about a sandwich, though? And I'm just saying that this is for $14,000. I'm just trying to put it in the price range. Mm. Do, do you think... That's a lot of chronographs for fourteen thousand dollars. No, but would you rather have one new three two one or no, those four? No, I would rather have one Rolex. Rolex. Ah, Rolex, 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 please. I'd rather have one Rolex because Rolex and Rump, rather than four Speedies that I could buy. If you buy that big box for four thousand dollars, and then you have to sell it, now used with a couple of scratches on it. How are you? What are you going to get for? Given well, what that do you get it for the big box? What do you get for the big box Listen, on the price? It doesn't fall that much, does it? Well, you tell me. If Joma is selling it brand new on the gray market for four thousand, you buy it, you, you wear it around, you scratch it up a little bit. Now, now maybe a year later, you want to sell it. Are you going to get thirty-eight hundred dollars when somebody can just go pay two hundred dollars more and buy it right out of Joma? You got thirty-six. Thirty-six. I thought thirty-six. Mm. No, when you're out of I, it's not that terrible. Look at look, you get it for three and a half. Okay, if three and a half. For, if you sell it for three, three six, then you're paying four hundred dollars on top of you know out of that money to eBay and PayPal. So by no, the you, time you're done, you lost a grand. That's a, that's uh, so what? So I don't think that's I don't think that's look. I think you're being a bit facetious there because no, you could sell I, it. No, you I, could sell it on a forum. I would not sell any wristwatches on eBay because it's very risky. I would not buy an Omega for a four thousand I would not buy that four thousand dollar student for if I was buying it used, I want to pay three thousand dollars for it. Twenty nine ninety. What what are we talking for what, sorry? For that for that three two one speedy the the big box at four thousand dollars. I wanna pay three on the used market. Uh, you, you won't you won't get it for free. Come on, no, you won't I mean, get it for three thousand dollars. 
I look cloudy. Do I look cloudy? Let me see if I can fix that. Ah, uh, you look fine. You look oh, fine, man. You look Where's lovely. the rancher? You know, the rancher, the rancher is the Omega guy. I'm, I'm like, what I know no, about... No, no, that's okay. Look, we're happy with what we can work with, Mark. He's, uh, he, he, he's left... He's left... He's left... Oh, Chip Wong. Here we go. Two dollars. Hey, Mark. Hi, Mark. Crappy has declared war on you. Response? Well, I think. Actually, let's not discuss. Let's yeah. not discuss, dickhead. Because you know what? You fucking burnt me, and I fucking hate your guts. Well, I can say. I, I tell you now, I'm putting out a fatwa on you now. Fat, Yankee fat Doodle, wire. five fat. bucks. <laughs> Ever consider having a paddock logo painted on your driveway? Actually, I tell you honestly, I'm actually considering getting a paddock tattoo. Wait a minute, I want to know. I want to get a paddock tattoo. Can I? Can I? Can, I, can I tell you where, where I got the idea for this? Where? Okay, yeah. I got a cardi. Where on your body? Oh no, on, on my arm. A yeah, yeah, logo. Yeah. Oh, I got one here. You want to see mine? Yeah, sure, 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 yeah. sure, sure, sure. Let's just have a look. I got We're not shy. No, not at all. <gasps> ah, that's so beautiful, man. Yeah. That's so beautiful, man. Stay there. Stay with me. I'm not going Bye. anywhere. Are you going to show us that tattoo on your butt, guys? Yes. Guys, let's raise a little money and let's get that that that, that tech tattoo right on the uh, right around the navel, right around yeah, Archie's so, ankle navel. Uh, okay. I, I tell you, I, 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 I was going to show you. I was going to show you. I wanted to get a tattoo, and you know where I got the idea from? Mm -hmm. I've got this book here. You know, real, if I, if I can, real, if, real if I can find it easily, I'll show you. Right, real quick. Oh, here it is. I found it. Da -da -da -da. This is here. This is called. This is called. This is called. Musty Cartier, okay. Mm -hmm. How's tell me? I don't know if that looks. Do you, do you think that looks a bit gay? Yes, a bit. It does. I think it'll suit you. Cartier tattoo. What do you think? I was going to get a a paddock tattoo. Yeah, but what's the? You know, I, I got to see the logo. Find me the. I don't remember. It's the, the Cartier logo. It's the Cartier logo. Yeah, no, I know, but you want the Patek logo. That looks a lot. I, I, I want the Calatrava. The Calatrava. You know what? Uh, that that Cartier logo looks a lot like a biohazard logo. Okay. Mm. So anyhow, I got to tell you, man. Uh, I want to tell you. I think honestly that um, I reckon they've hit it, nailed it. You know what they said? They they've consulted with Fudinki. Did they? Because they said, how much can we get? What's the maximum amount of money we can charge? Okay, what does a vintage one go for? They said, okay, a vintage one, a really good vintage one is twenty. A reasonable vintage one, fifteen. Okay, let's price it under. A good vintage. I got to tell you the truth. I think the vintage ones like Clive's will actually fall. Mm. Now you might say, why the hell is that so? Because people will Rolex. buy the new one. Rolex, 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 please, Rolex, please. Paul Valjou, Paul Valjou, Valjolox, five bucks. Omega gives Speedmaster new Seamaster casing with ceramic. The 321 movement isn't worth the premium over the 1861. Yes, they've also, <coughs> by the way, you know what they've done? They've added the new 321 has a sapphire crystal and it also has a ceramic bezel. Mm. Ceramic bezel with the dot over 90, which is, I thought was very clever. Um, if they really were clever, they would have the dot over 90 for a short run, then change the conventional mm. just to get the punters absolutely crazy. Better They're going to use Houdinki tricks. Houdinki has consulted with them. Mm. And I tell you now, Omega needs to get back on the wagon because they're sinking fast. And I'm sick of Rolex, 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 Rolex. Do I get a Pepsi? Do I get a... Uh, a Batman? Do I get a Hulk? Do I get... What do I get, man? Uh, this is the biggest problem. These fuckers are coming. And i got to be honest. Get a fucking... I'm so pleased. I'm so pleased Omega has done this. It takes the eye off Rolex for five minutes. Hey, real quick. Mind you, do, you want, do you want the rancher on? I, I, I sent him an invite. Yes, Where's he gone? I'm asking you if you really want them on because if you want them on, I'll make him do it. Remember that I am his homo. His horological mother, and I can either send no, you or no, no. Him. Look, I'm happy with you, Mark. I no, tell no, you, no, honestly, no, no. I'm happy with you. you. Here we go. Tim Wright, two dollars. How much do we need to raise for a Patek tram stamp? I need five thousand. Okay. 
and Thomas Burdett, five pounds. Archie, Perek, Panerai, Paragami, Piaget, Piguenet, Perlay, Paul Picot, Paul Jolt, or Pre Moon. Pick your pick of the peas for the price. Paddock and Pussy! Paddock and Pussy! Look, I, I would honestly go Pre Moon. I love that watch. I think. I can't buy one because of who I am, but. I love the idea. I love the idea we're talking Omegas. Thank fucking God we're not just talking Rolex! Rolex! But I don't want to force anyone, Marky. Marky, I love you. Marky, I love you. I, need I your, want to I spend need, time I need with around. you. I, need, I, need. I don't know why Victor doesn't come back. I mean, I fucking kissed that fucker's ass. I don't know why he he's a fucking letdown. You know that? Mm, Can you get that fucker yeah. on? He came on. He wanted to come on. Then, then something... You know, juicy happens. He won't even let me interview him. Yeah, maybe that's fuck me dead. We'll see what I we mean, can I, do. I even came out and said how great he was and supported him, and then no, oh, he's gone. He's gone. Fuck. Maybe don't maybe have maybe. a, don't have a kissy fit. Uh, I gotta tell you, man. Seriously, have you got you've got Omegas, haven't you, Marky? No, I I had only one. I've only ever owned two Omegas. Both Seamasters. One the. Uh, one of them was the um oh the two two five four ocean didn't you never i had a two two five four with the epa movement lovely watch gave it to my son he still has it that's and a good watch it is very nice very very nice watch and then i had the um the 42 millimeter or is it 41 the new one with the laser engraved dial and i flicked it real quick before it before it dropped in value you you had the new one with the big box, you mean? No, I had a big box, big wood box, laser. Oh, Seamaster or Speedmaster? Seamaster, Seaman Master. Seamaster, sorry, 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 yeah, sorry. Seamaster with a laser cut wavy dial. Why I, why wouldn't you get a speedy? Why wouldn't you get a speedy? I don't like chronograph. I think chron the chronograph is a stupid invention. I, I just don't like it. All those little teeny mini sub dials that I can't see. I don't I don't like them. I'd rather have a a turnable dive, dive bezel. You know, if you can't see them, I tell you what I've got. When I get really stuck, I take this out, right? <laughs> That's what you, you know? need to watch, the real thing. Hey, did you notice that Federico's Braille watch is a Patek uh, World Time? It's the newer one. No, no, my one's not good at all. It's the one that's not wanted. No one wants it. It was a disaster. Mm. Blue Shed Buddha, two bucks. Fuck me dead for fourteen thousand. I'd rather have a Daytona or a Paddock. I don't know if you get a Daytona for fourteen. Would you? Would you get a Daytona for fourteen thousand? Would I rather have what or which for fourteen? A Daytona or a Paddock? Yes. I, 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 a Paddock, yes, you can. Daytona every day. But you, I don't think you can get a Daytona for fourteen. Can you? Uh, well, you can. The steel Daytona price is under fourteen. The pre-ceramic, you mean? No. I'm, you're talking retail now. Are we talking MSR? No, no. We're talking. We're talking actually getting one. I okay. intend to actually get one at MSRP. This is my goal. I did it with the Hulk, so I think I can do it. I'm gonna... Otherwise, your dog's going to shit all over the front. <laughs> you just keep turning up every week. Yeah, no. The the ceramic Daytona has a premium of, um, gosh. $10,000. I tell you what, this is what annoys me with the rancher. Where is he? You know, he, he let me down the other... Hold on. Let me, have a, let me have a stern word with the rancher. Yeah, get him on. Get him on. This is enough of this joke. Yankee Doodle, two bucks. Is the Speedy 861 the sleeper? I think it is. That's the original. I also like the Speedy Mark II, Speedmaster Mark II. I love the 861 movement. Look, the 1861 is just a little bit more cleaned and polished. It's all it's basically the same thing. But you're right, the 861 is the sleeper, especially the transitional ones. And uh, that's the way it goes. That's the way it goes, fuckers. By the way, guys, you can buy me a drink today. I'm having a drink because we're not talking about Rolex. We're not continually talking about Rolex. Come on, guys. Midweek shows, the ratings aren't good. If money doesn't come in, I won't be doing these for much longer. It's all about the coin. I'm the same as Swatch Group. It is about the coin. That is all that matters to me. Nothing else really matters. Nothing fucking matters, fucker. Roonies. 
fuckers, nothing really matters to me, okay? Nothing matters to me. The only thing that matters is getting the YouTube ratings. I want to get You forgot the two other things ratings. that matter to you. Two other things matter to you. Paddock and pussy. Paddock and pussy. Is that a bad thing to be yes, or not? Yes, it's a bad thing. Yes, it's a Why bad thing. Why do you say thing. that? Well, because it's a little superficial. You could be, you could be dealing with Rolex. Would, would you ever consider getting a Corvette, Mark? You know, I sat in one once, and it was the most uncomfortable ride I ever had. I'm more oh, of a okay. That's a no. That's like, a no. I'd rather, I'd rather have like a Bentley SUV or that new Maserati SUV. I think it's ah. Uh, I think it's yeah, okay. I'm a manly man. I don't like those little girly low to the ground cars. You wouldn't find me riding around in a little yellow MR2 named Vincent Yang. I see, I see, I see. Please. Tell me this, Marky. Mm -hmm. uh, seriously, Marky, yeah. I really do love you, okay? Oh, I love you. You know what? I'm going to put you in my next book. That's what I'm going to do. You, you didn't put me in there already? What What, what happened, Marky? Well, I'm working on it. I've got the new one coming. Uh, I'm put you in it. Don't worry. Okay. Um, tell me this, Marky. Yeah. Would, would you, how many, tell me what the watch collection is doing. What do you have at the moment? I want to know how many, what's the number at? Well, I'm kind of stuck on G-Shock as a daily, you know, beetle, you know. Beetle. Actually, I got to tell you, man, I really do love my G-Shock. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm it's not really. A That's a Casio, but it's not a G-Shock. Oh, what the fuck is that? It's, it's just a Casio, it's the Casio World Time, yeah. isn't it? It's nice, but it's, just, it's not a built of the same rugged standard. Neo, yes, I'm a manly man. Neo, yes, I am. Manly man, a man who likes trucks, and I, I tame Rottweiler. Neo, I did. How many Rolexes, Marky, how many Rolexes do you have? That's what I'm asking. How many Rolex, how, how many? Ten. Eleven. Eleven. Can you please tell me what, let's go through that list. Please you know what, go. Okay, let's see if I can do this. Have a, a date, a 34 millimeter date. That was the first one. That was your two tone one that you always wanted and you got it, right? I still have it. It was the first one, got it somewhere in the mid 80s. Right? Yes. And uh, weirdly, I have four Submariners. <laughs> four Submariners? Yes, I have a, a 16613 ceramic bluesy. Yep. I have a 14060M three ceramic key line no date. Yes. I have a ceramic black, black, black. Yeah. And I have a Hulk purchased at MSRT. You love your Hulk, don't you? I do, I do. I think, I think it's one of my very, very favorite. Okay, yeah, that's, yeah. that's five. Keep going. Hulk's what else do you have there? By the way, the, the Hulk is far more beautiful in person than it is in pictures. I but I think it's a love it or hate it kind of thing, but I love it. Um, we've got a uh, super chat here. we got a super chat? Thank God we got a super chat. Here we go. Thomas Burdett, two pounds. Thomas Burdett. Arch, would you get AC2 to in to play the violin for us yes i i will definitely do that i'm actually he's very shy i just secretly recorded it and uh, i don't know if you saw my 2020 video there you know and so no i, I will be definitely getting him in weight loss is working i've got a date weight loss update video i've well, lost not, a little bit the Rolex collection but could we see like one of your boobs and see if, see if they're shrinking yeah, you, do, you, um, look like you're, you look like you're down from a double D to just like a D set, so, you know. Yes. Okay. Yes. So, double, triple E, yeah. triple E down to just a double E, must you know. Be, must be Russell. We're yeah. working on it. It's fucking hard, man. I'm tempted by food, you know. that. By the way, I'm eating ramen noodles at lunchtime. Those are terrible. Ramen. Empty of nutrition and actually surprisingly high in calories. The instant ramen. What's that? In, instant ramen noodles are high in calories and low in nutrition. Not good. How can the fucking how can they be high in calories? It's not, there's no no, sugar look in the there. package. It's like 400 calories for one little brick of them. At least 400. Oh. Yeah, it's not. It's not. It's not really very good. Ramen. Oh. 
devoid of. But actually, hang on a minute. I'm allowed to have eight thousand seven hundred calories no, a day. You are. <laughs> no, you know what's allowed to have eight thousand seven hundred calories a day? A cow, a, 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 a bull, a Brahmin bull, a, a water okay, buffalo. Hey, Yankee Doodle, two dollars. Arch, will you own a Rolex in 2020? No, I, I will not own a Rolex in 2020. No. Okay, add to the list. Um, a Sea Dweller 43 millimeter. That takes me up yes. to six. A James Cameron. That's seven. A Yachtmaster, six digit Yachtmaster, blue dial, platinum diesel. What's that? Eight. Are we up to eight now? Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, what else? A Sky Dweller, two tone white face. God, that's a gorgeous watch. What's that? Nine. Yeah, and there's two others that I don't that I'm not remembering. Um, what the hell are what, what else do I have? Explorer? Oh yeah, the Explorer too. There's ten. Mm -hmm. And there's something I'm forgetting. Hmm. There's one more. Hmm. Hmm. Batman. That's eleven. Batman. Yeah, Batman. That's eleven. So tell me this: those eleven watches. Do you have any other brands, high-end brands? I'm not talking about that ball garbage. Any other? No, I have. I'm down to one ball. I the Casio's a crap. You know, that just... By the way, but I, I am actually wearing one of these fitness bracelets. Yeah, they're, they're fun, though. They're, you know that? You know, I'm, doing, I'm wearing the fitness bracelet. You know that? I've, I've done today 890 steps. Is that good or bad? Well, it depends. What time of the day is it there now? It's uh, 10.30 in the morning. Have you masturbated? Ah, because sorry. that's a false positive, you know. Okay, okay, sorry. Uh, apologies. Apologies. So basically, you, you know. roll out of bed, threw on a shirt, and okay. and you think that you walk okay. nine hundred steps. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And two bucks. Arch, how does the five one nine six sit flat on the wrist? It actually feels too big. It actually wears really big. Steve Camasso, two dollars. You missed my super chat. Thoughts on wildfires? I got it with Steve Camasso. Here we go. Let me find it. Sorry, Steve. I apologize. Steve Camasso. Hey guys, Victor, where are you? I miss your dog. Yes, wildfires. Steve Camasso, we love you. We love you. We love you. I love Steve Camasso. I got to tell you, man, seriously, in all honesty there, man, I got to tell you, I fucking licked that Victor's asshole. He gave me some great kit, gave me some great... He didn't give me the the the, the, the eyepiece he promised me. He didn't actually send that. No, oh, that's disappointing. He, he sent me the dealer book, but the dealer's book, which is really fucking cool. Uh, I got to tell you the truth. Why doesn't he come back on, man? Come on, man. I think he went shy after the blue bottle. Ah, uh, who fucking? You know, cares? some of us have very thick skin. And some of us are tender and sweet. I remember you got upset with me. I love game. You never thought I would come back like that, you did know, you? You never, you never thought I. I am going to tell you the truth. Out of all the people on YouTube, yes. I really love you. You can make me when I'm depressed. You make me fucking happy. Well, I'm, you're I'm the, serious. You're just the sweetest little pudgy man. You know, I still remember when I, when I, well. I can't quit you, but when I tried to quit you, you know, the best thing about it was I'm, I'm still getting views off that video. <laughs> so that's, man, really, that's really man, the whole thing. But, I love but, I love you. Go on. Well, here's what happened. You know, I made this guy, that, that, those of you who never saw that video of mine, you know, Archie went on this rant, you know, like video after video, you know, with slightly disparaging homophobic remarks, and it just eventually got under my skin, so I made a whole, I, you know, I'm quitting Archie. You know, video, and I put it up, and about three days later, I get a phone call from Australia, and it's, it's Paul, and he says, Marky, 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 what, what did I do? Just tell me what I did. <laughs> so, That's right. I remember that, man. That's so cool, you know? Yeah. Yeah, and that was before, that was before I, I just cracked 14,000 on YouTube, and it's all due to you. Rolex, Rolex. Rolex. Here we go, Yankee Doodle. Does the 5196 and the 5296 fit the same on the wrist. Now, i got to tell you something, guys. Actually, I'll pull these fuckers out. I will pull, pull these fuckers out for you guys on the tubes. So, the 5196 and the 5296. Okay, so basically, guys, these here are what you would say as... Uh, these are 
These are the two models. Uh, uh, they the both. Attacks. How do you tell them apart? The five, this, well, it's yellow gold and one's white gold. Well, that's this one, and it doesn't oh. have a date. This is the manual wine. Doesn't so this is actually thirty-seven, and this one here is thirty-eight. So when I actually put it on the wrist, I got to be completely honest with you. They both wear the same. Okay, I'm going to put one on here. I will show you. So this is the five two nine six. We're going to put that on. So I'm a fat cunt. I got a 19 centimeter wrist, and I kind of, how does it look there? It, it, it looks fine. It feels big. It feels big, okay? It feels really big. Um, it feels really big. That's what she said. But she was, all, she was lying the same as you are. I, I kind of, I like it. I do like it. I love it. I love it. I do love this watch. This watch is beautiful. I'm getting a strap from Combat Straps. So, so, so that's that one. Now let me put the other one on. We'll show you both. Can we, Always. Remember, can we talk about the elephant in the room, which is Clydesy in the peanut gallery and in the comments, not on the live stream? Clyde, get your, talk about... you get your butt in here, Clyde. You're leaving me hanging, and you're sending me texts laughing at me. Get in here. This is not easy handling a minute part all by yourself. Exactly. So this is the... Mm. But actually, I... It feels a smidgen so where smaller. Are you where are you going to get? Where, it where, it on your body, where on your body are you going to get the protect tattoo? Because you're afraid of needles, so I don't think you're really getting any tattoo. I was going to get on the shoulder the Patek logo. You know, it's like getting thousands of needles. How about if I got a Patek logo and a pussy on the other side? You know how they do it. Yes, I know. It's the injecting the ink. Yes, you could just go to prison. It would be much cheaper if you got a prison tattoo. You know what? Just make a video about fuck the CCC, and you can get a free tattoo. Just a thought. Ron the Shrink. Hello, Ron. How are you, man? Hello, sir. Omega is smoking, smoking crack for $14,000. Okay, There's... Ronnie, Ronnie, let me just say this to you. I think they got Houdinki in, and they said, Houdinki, how much is... Can we please revive this corpse we're not doing well what, what do we need to do and hudinki said right you need to bring back the 321 this is how you do it you need to what's the maximum price we can charge well let's look at what a vintage one's going for a good vintage a mint vintage is 20 but a average vintage is about 15 let's price it 14 we're going to clean up the market the thing about vintage is it's very hard to live with vintage you know this don't you right because it fucking, you know, vintage stuff is just difficult because you can't really wear it. You can't fucking use it. You're, you're really fucked on that there. Uh, just going to wind my 5196 up. For $14,000 of secondhand, that beautiful Royal Oak offshore uh, Navy that Clyde has, you can get that. You the can get Navy a safari. Things. Beautiful oh, yeah. offshore hey. chronographs. Hey, hey. You can get, I told you, my friend got a Vasher and Constantine for 10,000 US dollars. And that's a fucking, that is a column wheel vertical clutch, too. Uh, I don't know if the Series 2 is. Is, is a Series 2 a, a column wheel vertical clutch? The one with the case back, with the uh, exposed case okay. back. That's, that's the next vertical. one. That's the next yeah. one. Okay. Here we go. Yankee Doodle, $2. What is Hudinky's business model? Hudinky's business model is amazing. He got a whole lot of. Uh, venture capitalists to put a couple million dollars in and he's never looked back he's got paddocks pussies he's got vintage porsches hudinki is a genius the guy is a fucking genius okay that's what he is um i gotta be completely honest with you i gotta be completely honest with you i personally i gotta say this honestly to you ron the shrink yes. i think omega is a hundred percent on the money I just made a video and I said, you know, for fourteen thousand US dollars, I would build an Amiga collection. I'd get the the big box professional. Yes. I would get a first Amiga in space. Okay, that's another that's a, another four thousand. That's eight thousand US. Then I would get a Speedmaster Mark II. That's using a coaxial column wheel movement. Right. Okay. Then a, a little bit of change. I'd get a reduced. Yeah, I they're have insane. Four, four Omegas for the price of this one. Now the thing is, however, I got to tell you this: 
It depends what happens. If Amiga is going to be sensible. I reckon they should limit supply. Yes, it's readily available, just like Rolex. It's not limited edition, but let's fuck up the supply. Let's see. Let's let's see what they do. I think they're going to do that because supposedly they're going to have one watchmaker per, you know, movement individually assembling. So. The, the, the production is going to be limited hey, just by Ron, the nature of Ron, what they're doing. Ron, they're making these movements in China, I heard. Oh, really? <laughs> That's always been the, the... Amiga actually did do a bit of our... Look, come on, let's not fucking joke each other. Let's be honest there. There has been long rumors in the Swiss industry. They do a lot of work in China. Um, yeah, okay. That, that could be... <coughs> To be called Swiss, they just need to assemble the fucking thing in, 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 in Switzerland. Woody New Yorker, two bucks. Could BGV be the next Houdinki in 2025? No, 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 no. No, no, he can't because he's a phony. He's a phony. And I've heard that at that uh, place he got the job, they're not very happy with him. So let's see how that pans out. Um, yeah. Hey i got to be honest with you, Ron. Would you ever go and get an Amiga at 14000 like that? What do you think, really? I mean, what is the second-hand value of a Rolex Pepsi now? Is that, I mean, is, that can't be much higher than fourteen, is it? No. It's like, you know, 10, 12, 13. Fuck! I'll yeah. take the Rolex Pepsi ceramic. Yeah, you could get a oh, oh, ceramic? Matter yeah. That's a different matter. I thought you meant free ceramic. No, no, no. What's the ceramic price? Uh, there's a premium on that, so I don't know. That's probably 17, 16 to 18, probably a little more. Still, for a few thousand more, I'd go that route 100%. More likely to hold a value. That's what are you guys Hello, thinking? Mark, by little, the way. I gotta be on. Hey, Ron, what do you think of these little maraschino cherries? The, the ones that are like almost black. They're really good. I gotta be honest with you guys. I really do think um, you guys are missing the point here. Rolex, Chip Wong, Chip Wong, Omega business model, pump and dump. Look, Swatch Group is very clever. Don't forget, Swatch Group, they rejigged the whole industry. Okay, um, they're actually Lebanese. You know that the the owners that 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 Nico Hadwick, he he's Lebanese. His family is he's, he's Lebanese. But look, seriously. Let's leave their sexual orientation out of it. Here's the thing. The Swatch Group, as a company, clever. the Swatch Group, they've got to turn a profit every quarter of the year, whereas Rolex is looking at this giant, long, you know, 100-year plan. That's the difference, I think, between a foundation and a publicly held traded company. Profits yes. versus brand prestige. Rolex has got, like, the longest-term plan of any of the brands. Yes, yes, I, I 100% agree with you there. I, I 100% agree with you. Um, the thing is, of course, Rolex themselves, they're absolute marketing geniuses. I think this has fallen in their lap. They don't really know what to do here. I, I, I honestly don't think it's through planning. It's more luck than anything. Look, you know, go back 20 years ago, Pam was hot. People were paying premiums for PAMs. Can you, can you believe that or not? Well, yeah. Now look, now look at them. You don't dare to buy them without papers. And buy them with paper. You just don't have to worry about it. It's a fake set of papers. And they're, they're well under retail now. Actually, though, I kind of like them. I feel like if you buy a brand like Panerai at the low, where they are now, you're getting a lot of watch for the money, don't you think? I Just hate them on the wrist. I hate Pam on the wrist. Never wore one, Ron. I, I, I got to just, just out of interest, I want to say something. I don't know if you noticed this, but mm. the retail price of the 321, mm. Omega has done something absolutely very... I'm going to share my screen here just so you can, you can see this. They are very, very clever. Uh, just hang on there. I'll get this. Just hang on. Hang on. Here we go. Hang on, here we go. Uh, Rolex, Rolex, Rolex. Okay, Rolex, Rolex, Rolex. Yankee Doodle. 
I wore my Grand Seiko GMT for one day. I'm ready to sell, trade it. No soul. Fuck really? me. Exactly. That's, that's crazy. I think that's a beautiful watch. Does that that it has the spring drive, right? It is. That is beautiful. It's that is beautiful. a very beautiful Yankee Doodle, well, I will buy it from that. Don't take a loss on that, Yankee Doodle. Take your time and give it a, give it a chance. Yeah, I, I agree. you got to take your time, man. Take your time. Just very quickly, I want to point something out to you. I hope you can see. Can you, okay, well, okay, Yankee Doodle, NY Punter, two bucks, what are your thoughts on gay black Jewish men? I love gay black Jewish men! <laughs> I love well, gay, black, gay Jewish black Jewish black men. For a while. Yeah, exactly, nothing wrong with that. I just want to show you something, look at this, this is on the Australian uh, site here. I just want to show you, uh, take a look at this. The, yeah. the Rolex, the Rolex, um... The Rolex Daytona in Rolex. steel is 18500 That's all right. dollars. It's like thirteen eight in American American dollars. Rolex. That means Rolex. 321 is priced slightly more. You Rolex. notice that? Omega has put it above Rolex. Thomas Burnett, five pounds with about two and a half to three thousand of the new Ed Whites being made per year. How many do you see production going on? Four, three, four, five years. So there's okay. Well, for starters, do you know Amiga sells one million watches a year? About the same as Rolex, then. One million. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think myself, as long as it sells, they will pump this fucker out indefinitely, indefinitely. And I reckon they might be tweaking it up to about ten thousand a year. Archie, we're being told that you've missed a super chat by Eugenius. And um, I myself didn't see it, but I had to run Ooh. out there for a few minutes. Oh, oh he's look. back. He's have back. A have a look back. <laughs> you Jameis is or I am? No, I can't see it. I think he may not have sent the money. Sorry I'm, about I'm, this. I'm, I'm looking back. To By the way, we had someone who was who was one of the wrenches was stopping people who made Super Chats donating. Uh, you've been kicked off and banned. So just letting you know, we found Never out who you were. Never money. Ooh, yeah, Arch, yeah. I was banned after I was super chatted you a few times. That, that happened twice, man. You're losing a lot of fucking money. Well, we, yeah, we got rid I, of that. Guy. I know. I, I, I got rid of him. Who we was worked it? it out. I don't really want to say anything, but let's just say he's gone. Let's, let's just say okay, there's a guy named Larry who will remain or not. Okay, so now i got to tell you, man, seriously, I reckon Amiga, they will pump out 10000 a year of these. Look, look, Amiga's a business. Swatch is a business, okay? They're only interested in one thing. Money! 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 Well, they, don't they have that in common with you, sir? Well, look, it's, it's, it's a commercial world. Mm -hmm. We live in a commercial world. Mm -hmm. So, i got to be honest with you, it's very clever trick there. Look at the, the, the Daytona itself there. 18,000 Aussie. The Omega, guess what they're selling the Omega for? I'll just show you this here. It's actually 20 fucking thousand dollars. 20,000. So, Omega's done this to try and make their one better. Do you understand that? They want to make it better. They want to be better than Rolex. This has been their constant battle. Um, I, I, I gotta be honest with you there, man. I think, I think this will actually, they gotta play their, their hand right, but they could easily fucking, they could honestly claw their way back. What do you think, Ron? Could they claw back or not? They should be competing with Tudor. For comparable pricing, uh, you know, a Seamaster, for example, is a much nicer watch with a much better movement than a, a Black Bay. If they if they competed against Tudor, I think they would have a huge kind of resurgence. They're not going to beat Rolex. They just won't. Ooh, okay. I'm going to show you this here now. Let's just, I'm going to show you this just to show you. Uh, guys, we're going to stop sharing. Here we go. We're coming back sharing. I'm going to share the tab. Uh, I want to show you something. Look at this here. This is from the Amiga site here. Itself, the Amiga site. Let's reveal the price. Da -da, da -da! Available early to 20,000 Australian dollars, which is about 14,000 US dollars. Um, absolute fucking lunacy. See, they've priced it $1,500 more than a Rolex Daytona. They're trying to set the benchmark. What do you think of that? Clever idea or what? 
they can fuck off. I'll take the offshore chronograph secondhand all day. Why wouldn't you? I mean, that Navy themes that our uh, $10, thank God, Tommy D, I was thinking, wouldn't it be helpful if Arch came to North America for a kind of reverse Priscilla Pluto of the desert and has his big life finale in drag with Mark and Clive in Palm Springs? Yes, sir -y. Yes, sir -y. And I'll get Aaron Sims to photograph it. I gotta tell you, man, it's all fucked as fuck die. Um, I, Ron, you're a bit of an Amiga man, aren't you? I used to be. I'm completely out of Omega now. Um, Why? I'm time. I had mostly vintage pieces, and for the same reason that you kind of discussed, that I, I like to beat the shit out of my watches, and sometimes I like to shower with them too because I'm a germaphobe. I'm in the hospital, so I, I'm going more modern stuff. I have a slightly vintage late 90s tutor but otherwise uh my piece right now is the is the iwc big pilot uh iwc big pilot you got a discount on that didn't you well i got yeah well i bought it secondhand i bought the 5002 which is the original remake that that john Mayer made famous uh you know much cleaner dial much more um you know much closer to the original what did you pay for it what did you pay for it uh seven that's not terrible. Yeah, it's it's my fa it's the watch that I it fell in love with when I was first getting into the hobby, and um, I love it. I like it a lot. Here more we than go, the Yankee Doodle, two bucks. I like this new Amiga with thirty nine mil, not forty two. I tend to agree. I tend to agree. It's actually thirty nine point seven mil, so it's almost forty, I would say. But I I I don't know how I feel about it. it's using 19 mil bracelet. What do you think of that, Ron? I think they should have gone. Uh, they have to try to keep it original. I I completely get it. Yeah. You know what's a better watch for this money? You know what? You know what? You know what's a better watch, Ron? What's that? It's got the same, almost as much historical significance. The Zenith El Primero 38 mil reissue. Right. For when? What is that new? Five, six second hand they're fucking soft as dog shit and left out in the sun about four 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 and a half four and a half i fucking sold one to a fan he was just fucking nutty the guy was cheap and nasty ny punter two dollars did scotty die no scotty and me he doesn't he's trying to save for a house he doesn't want watch advice i told him not to keep buying things you're going to lose money on Speaking of watch advice, that fucker's collection who you just reviewed, wow. Yes. Wow. I've never seen it. Here we go. Thurston Howe the third. Arch, $2. Arch, were you a top or bottom? Because I'm a bit kind of, I like to go on top. I like to be on top. Okay, so and let me, let me just, tell you a secret. I'm going to give you a bonus fun fact. I love a bit of 70s bush. Can I just say, uh, you know, Thurston Howe the third, that sitting on top does not make Archie a top. Just to be clear about that. <laughs> okay. And the power bottom. <laughs> and G, two bucks. Do you see the 321 holding its price pre owned? No. Very. It, it depends how many they release. I think myself, I've got a feeling that Amiga will always fuck this up because they're greedy, okay? They're greedy. I think it'll probably hover around about the 12,000 mark after about six months okay so lose six twelve thousand us you will lose a little bit but they're not going to flood they're going to very very regulate how many of these are sold it's it's amazing stuff ron tell me this you've got your iwc big pilot right that's right and what else have you got a tutor so i have the, the tutor uh panda chronograph and, and I, it's it's a shitter quartz, quartz, but I love it. But it's because I I beat the market. I bought a no, but panda. that's okay. It, it's 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 still a Tudor, still a quality. It's a watch, panda chronograph right? made by the Rolex company. Rolex. I got it for seven hundred and fifty bucks. I beat the market, so that's why that's I love nothing, it. That's, that's cheap. So your IWC is your flagship now. That is my flagship, and it's going to be for a while. Why do you say that? Why do I you just, say it's... defeatist? Why are you so defeatist? <laughs> I'm a little, little in trouble with the credit cards and uh, still a resident, but we'll be okay. But, how, uh, how much in trouble? How much? Uh, not great. <laughs> ten? Ten? No, less than 20? ten. Less than what ten. What the fuck's the problem? Hey, let's go and have an orgy. 
You have more than that in student loan debt and twenty. You're fine. I'm half a mil in student loan. Exactly. You know what? <laughs> it's, it's only a shame that you can't declare a bankruptcy and discharge those debts. Like that follows you to the grave. I'm but betting on know? super inflation. You know what? As a, as a, as a grown-up psychiatrist, you will be able to knock that down in five years. Yeah, it'll be fine. Yep. Seriously, half a million dollars in student loans? Yeah, but you know, he's going to be a shrink. They print money. It'll be fine. I mean, how many patients in an hour can a psychiatrist see in a, you know, in a, in a typical practice? If you want to be capitalistic, you can. I like inpatient because I like working with the really, really sick people. So there's a cap on how much you can make. If you want to be a capitalist, though, and go outpatient, you can make a fucking ton of money. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I like the sick people inpatient. Well, you'll burn out on that, and then you go for the then you go for the bucks and the collection and the Maserati. Ron, Ron, I want to tell you, Ron. Here we go. NY Punter, one, two dollars. Moments of silence for Glenn Truck. <laughs> that's funny yeah i don't know what's happened to him let's not actually be i i i will re-establish contact with him mm. uh he's a lovely your, guy glenn where's your container load he's a lovely guy glenn mm. ron i want to tell you this ron we were having a discussion about relationships right yes can i tell you something personal that's happened to me just as long as you don't tell anyone else sure just between us Okay, just between us. Okay, so I've had a couple of long-term relationships. One lady, she decided this year, okay, I've kind of, she decided not to respond to my Christmas greeting. Okay. Right. And another lady, she she was okay with me. We're all, we were friendly. And I accused her. I said, who took these photos of you? She went to America. I said, you got another guy. I said, I can see the love in these photos. And she just ghosted me. Right, what, is, what does it mean when someone ghosts you in a relationship? Um, I'm only in residency, but I think it means they don't want to talk to you anymore. Okay. And you were, you were probably honest, right, Arch. I mean, that's why, otherwise she would have defended herself. When people are, are accused of lying and they're not listen, lying, there, they get angry. Part, there could be a lot of reasons for that. They, among those reasons could be herpes, crabs, carpet beetles, Toe fungus, bad breath, slipping crowns. I mean, there's a lot. Of, there could be a horn. There are a lot of reasons why a woman could ghost a man. And um, hey, Ron. By the way, there, Ron. I just wanted to tell you this. You know something I found. I've I've done. This is a seven-year experiment. I want to share with you. Yes. Most women on dating sites have no fucking money. I've heard. I mean. What the fuck does that mean? No fucking money. And I haven't even got to the ones who have money but don't want to share it with me. I haven't even got to that stage yet. You know what I mean? Have no fucking money. I think the punters will kill us if we talk more about relationships. Okay, let's go back into the watches there. i got to tell you, man, seriously, what are you looking at? 2020, I want to ask Mark first. Mark, what do you want to buy? 2020. Tell me the aims. Rolex, Daytona, white reverse panda. Oh, did we do this one here? Chip Wong, $2. Survey for room. Max, you would pay for the new 321? That's a very good question. Shit, I would pay US dollars. US dollars. I would pay, I would pay about, I say I agree with you, Mark, seven and a half. There you go. The what same. would you pay? Marky, what would what would you pay? Mm, realistically, 8500 Ron, what would you pay for this new Amiga? Less than seven. I don't find it that compelling. Oh. Now, I want to talk to you. Dog trainer, Marky, what do you hope to buy this year? What do you want to do with your collection? You literally asked me that question about two minutes ago, and I answered it. Ron, is this... Could there be some sort of dementia setting in? Do we have Trump syndrome mm -hmm. here in Australia? I, I, I can't remember it's your answer. Awesome. It was a Rolex, Rolex Daytona ceramic reverse panda white dial. That's it? Just one watch? Well, that's a big watch. That's a big get. Plus, I already have 11. I mean, what else can I possibly get? I can probably sell watches. Okay, Ron, what do you hope to do with watches this year? So one watch I actually have had my, it's one that does nothing for you, but the 36 mil 
Explorer One. I think the dimensions on that are Less perfect. Less than nothing for him. Less than nothing. I think now, the dimensions I want to say, perfect. run, run, Neo, five bucks, Neo, five bucks. Okay, Arch, we've been setting, you've been setting us up with the SL and SLK women with no money. Your ex-wife. How much longer before you give us the punchline? Okay, let me tell you this. I've launched a video on the Archie Luxury channel, my Love Life Update. It is coming out on Monday. Love Life Update. There you go. I got weight loss update on the 15th. And, yeah, I've got a few videos, personal videos. I've got, what have I got coming there? I've got weight loss update, love life update. Yeah, it's all coming out next week on the Archie Luxury channel. Thank you so much, Neo. Ron, you were talking Breguets. What the fuck? Why aren't we talking Breguets anymore? We were talking Breguets. Breguets! Why aren't we talking Breguets anymore, Ronnie? You know, it's just I need something that I can beat the shit out of and shower in occasionally. It's, it's, uh, I think I have the same problem as Mark, where I'm a bit of a germaphobe, and I need to be able to beat the shit out of it a little bit. Okay, James Khan, 11. Five bucks. Arch, being a power button, have you ever been a victim or predator of an Alaskan <laughs> snow dragon? Look up Urban Dictionary. Being a power bottom. A power bottom? I've never heard of this term. What is a power of it. bottom? Uh, no, I've heard of Alaskan snow dragon. It is, it is gross. It's an advanced sexual prank in nature. The Alaskan snow dragon... When a male ejaculates in the female's mouth, plants her jaw shut with his hand, at the same time informing her he has an STD, anyone will do. She will immediately release the semen through her nostrils. Now you have made her perform the Alaskan Snow Dragon. Oh, I thought it was something else. Wow, that's worse. Well, that's what the uh, urban dick. What did you think that's it was? I, I, I knew it involved semen, but I, I didn't know that it, it was, uh, mm. there was, this was this involved. You know, I did a, I did own a, a an Omega Semen Master there for about a month. Yeah, I, I, I don't really get these these kind of that's, things. You know what? That's, uh, viol that's violent and nasty. Romance, romance, romance. Yeah, I don't yeah, know I don't about like that. that. Okay, Mr. Two, seven that's bucks, yucky. eight bucks. Arch, I, I, I fear that in order for you to reconnect with Glenn, you may need an Uji board. Please film if you do. What's happened to Glenn? They're afraid he's gone to the great beyond. I hope he's a he's a lovely guy. I love Glenn. Uh, and then Yankee Doodle, two bucks. Will Breguet Type Twenty hold its value long term? Seriously, I look look hold its value. You mean pre-owned value or new value? You buy that new, it's toxic. Okay, Breguet. Is a toxic brand to be fooling with, okay? But you buy it used, I don't think you'll lose much. It's so low. It doesn't go any lower, okay? It doesn't go any lower. You were talking Breguets. Why aren't we talking Breguets again, Ron? Yeah, I just had this kind of wave of nostalgia about the watches I was obsessed with when I first really started getting into the hobby. And that original IWC 5002 with that original dial that they brought back in the 90s uh, or early oddies. Um, I don't know. It just it kind of clicked, and I've always wanted it, and I, it's it's my favorite watch I've ever owned. Tell me this, Ron. <clears throat> Would you ever own a paddock in your life? Uh, I'm sorry, a what? A paddock, Philippe! Oh, yeah. I'll be honest. The um, That flat, that the one you had before all the current ones with the flat white, white gold bezel. Ah, the 5107. That was gorgeous. That was the best Patek you've ever owned. I would love that one. You know, what's better? Yeah, what? What's better? 11 Rolexes or five identical Patek? Yours are probably worth more. Mm -hmm. You know that dog trainer? Yeah. They're certainly able to take more of a beating. Yes, they are. Yeah, no, no, I, I think, look, I, I think, I think, um, i got to be honest with you, you know what I've been doing lately? I've been reminiscing, I've been looking at old photos I had because I'm tra transferring data to, between phones. And, you know, when I had that box full of uh, one watch per brand, fuck, I had some nice watches, Ron. You did. You did. And, and I, I mean, they may not have the most 
you know, monetary highest value or retention, but they were just all minty, beautiful examples that I, I basically stole because they were so cheap. And you, I traded it. You had gorgeous for pieces. Rolex. Yeah. I miss, you know what I miss? I, I miss the, uh, the Hoya, even the, with the Salita, actually the Salita. Yeah, I do. I do miss that. I miss the Breguet. Fuck do I, that Breguet was beautiful. That was a beautiful Breguet. And then Your Ringy was perfect too. Dial. I don't know what went wrong with me. I, I, I don't seem to be happy in life, you know? I'm never happy, Ron. It, uh, it might not be the watches, my friend. Yeah, it, it may not be the watch. Thank do you, you Ron. Do you think it's, Ron, do you think it's gender reassignment surgery to be the answer here? Well, I... Here we go. David Coffey, two bucks. Mark, is the Hulk beating up James Cameron? But certainly a more wearable watch. So, I mean, I, think it's, I, mean, I really like them both, but I had to choose. Oh, that'd be a tough one, but... I think if the ship was going, oh, down, and I could only get I'd, I'd take the Hulk. I'd yeah. take a Hulk personally. Me too. I'm not sure that if I'm wrong, that would be the best decision. But right now, yeah, that's what I would do. I just actually the green is amazing. I must say this: until you actually see one in the flesh, like the dial is almost black in certain lights, then it's <clears throat> it's fucking beautiful. You know, they've mixed gold, gold dust into the into the green paint to achieve that. Wow. <laughs> do they really? That's cool. Yeah, that's how they do that. Congrats Guys, that, we're going to end this show. We've, it's an hour. We've done the hour show. I want to say this Omega that's coming out, I want to wrap up talking about this Omega. Uh, at 10, what would you give this launch? See, personally, we're not talking about value. We're talking what would you give this watch as far as for the watch community? I reckon this is a 9. Very quickly, Mike Hunt, two pounds. Would you dirty Sanchez a ladyboy arch? Uh, no, no, I don't really. That doesn't give me any sexual satisfaction. I don't like causing misery. I don't get, I, I, I don't like pervert whoa, 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 that's a lie, or you would not have made this broadcast. <laughs> I, uh, here we go, Yankee Doodle, five bucks. Why is it most high-end boutiques in New York City have pushy Asian Chinese sales ladies because they're selling to Chinese. That is the number one buyer now. It's not you Americans, it's the Chinese. That's who they're selling to. The whole market is Chinese. Uh, what would you give the new Amiga launch? Oh, Tommy D. Thank you so much there, Tommy D. I concur with the Pontet regarding a hint of 70s Bush. Thank you so much. I love a bit of 70s bush. Nothing like a bit of bush. What do you think, Ron? What do you what would you give this launch of this product? This this product at a 10. What would you give it? Well, we're talking about Omega. Yeah. Uh to I mean exclusively. Um yeah. I love the bracelet. I'm with you. I think the bracelet is beautiful. I do not like the faux patina, but that's just a personal bias. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. At a 10, what would you give this launch? That's oh, cool. I mean it's a gorgeous watch. An 8. 8. Marky, Marky, what would you Give this watch out of ten as a launch. I would, I would give every Omega brand that pretty much needs to be called every one of them a six, except for the Pro Clock, which I would give an eight. Ooh, what would you give this one a six? That's it, a six. Yeah, it's a boring chrono that looks like all the others. Okay, guys, that wraps up today's show. Thank you, guys. Come back. I'll be here Friday Night Live and Saturday Night Live. Clive, get your fucking ass on for that show. And remember, fuck Clive. Just fuck Clive. Everybody okay. will be. Fuck Clive. There we fuck go. Clive. Thank you.